The big game is fast approaching, but wait, you still haven't got your tickets. You've spent hours searching, but you're still confused about ticket prices. Time to stop searching. Visit TicketCompare.com. We compare ticket prices for all the popular leagues and tournaments for you. We work only with the most trustworthy sites, so you can have peace of mind when buying your tickets. Compare prices, buy tickets, get to the game. TicketCompare.com. Buying tickets made simple. Can you do it again? Can the team do it again? Um, yeah, I mean, we've got a massive opportunity for, for someone to to make a special moment again, you know. Um, obviously, this game's over two legs, so it's a little bit different. We probably have to think of it a little bit different in, in certain aspects tactically. And uh, uh, I think as long as we can uh, get a result and bring it back to Ashton Gate with, with a good scoreline, we've got every chance. Just how tough do you think it's going to be, particularly given, as you say, it's over the two legs? Yeah, obviously that does make it harder. We can't lie, but um, like I said, if we can if we can get a, a positive result uh, away from home, bring them back to Ashton Gate, um, uh, we've got a chance. But I mean, we're not under no illusions. You know, they're probably one of the the best clubs, if not the best, in in Europe or the world at the moment, and they're playing unbelievably, and they've got great players. And um, yeah, it's, it's a great opportunity for us to to test ourselves, and most of all, we've got to enjoy it, and hopefully the fans will as well. Mentally, is it a lot tougher knowing you have to play them twice? Um, like I said, it's a, if you had them in a in a one-off game, you'd probably think about it a bit differently. But um, obviously, over two legs, you have to probably use your use your head a little bit more, you know. So I'd say that's the only thing. But I mean, this you can't complain. We get to go and play it. Man City's ground. Do we get to go and, and then play them again here? We're not going to complain about that, you know. They drew recently, which hold of that phenomenal winning run they had. Does that sort of give you actually a little bit of confidence? Because they're not they're not invincible, are they? Yeah, I mean, no one's invincible, you know, and. Um Obviously, uh, look, we've got a lot of respect for them. They're an amazing team with an amazing manager, and uh, and but we know what football's like. Um, anything can happen on on, on the day in in football, and uh, we'll we'll go into it and try and win the game. You know. How do you prepare differently knowing it's over a two legs? Is the mindset like you said to try and keep it tight up at the Etihad? Uh, I can't give you my t I can't give you our tactics just yet. You know, <laughs> but uh, obviously we've got a great coaching staff here. You know, and then. Uh, and a great team, so they'll be uh, looking to to have a have a plan in place, and uh, as players we will follow it. Do you feel confident that you individually and the team can hold their own? You've beaten Watford, you've beaten Stoke, and of course you've beaten Manchester. Yeah, I mean, obviously, uh, well, we're beating four Premiership teams as Crystal Palace as well, so um, that kind of gives gives us that that extra extra piece of confidence, you know. Um, Going into the game, um, there's no reason. There's no reason why not. We know football; anything can happen. And we, if we go into the game expecting to lose, then that was that's what will happen. So we have to we have to be confident. How's the atmosphere around the dressing room at the moment? Because it's the first time all season that you experienced back to back defeats. It was a very tight game against Wolves, but then the, the five 0 defeat. Was there, so. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's football. I mean, I think we know how to. I don't think the lads will get that too down about that. I mean, last year we lost about ten in a row, so uh, we know now how to kind of react to losses. We can't let it let it ho uh, hold us, you know. Um, we uh, we've we're in a great position in the league. We're two points off second place, you know. So you can't really complain, and we're in the semi final of a, of a major competition. So the lads are in great spirits, and we're just looking forward to to what's to come in the second half of the season. And manager said he gave you sort of three, a few days off after that Aston Villa game. How needed was that after that really very busy festival? Yeah, I mean. It, we've had a lot of injuries, and I think maybe that kind of caught up a little bit against Aston Villa. To be fair, we've—I think there was a stat out the other day saying that we had in Europe or something there was seven of our players have played the most minutes in the whole of Europe. Seven of our players in our team have played the most minutes over over that period. So at some point, you know, it's going to take a little bit of its toll, and uh, it's not about that. It's how it's how you react, and so we've had a little rest now, and and we're just really ready to go again. For you individually, what's it going to be like to come up against? We don't know what team Pep's going to pick, but you know the likes of Aguero and 
you know, you're Rosane, Kevin De Bruyne, you're going to be right in the middle. Yeah, no, it's going to be it's going to be amazing. I think, well, obviously, De Bruyne, I was watching the other day, he got injured, so I was a bit guided about that because it be, it'd be amazing to play a player like that, you know, so... But yeah, it's, it's just like like Man United, just just the same kind of thing. It's just an uh, amazing opportunity for us and me individually to to play against these players. And then in years to come, you can kind of tell your kids I, I played against Aguero, I played against Pogba, I played against whoever, and obviously Pep Guardiola as well. You know, probably one of the best managers uh, maybe to, in, that, has, that has lived. You know, so um, yeah, it's just it's it's amazing and it's even better if you can beat them. How do you cope with all this extra sort of attention? I guess it gives you maybe a glimpse of what life could be like if you did go up to the Premier League. Um, yeah, I mean, it's funny because at the beginning we didn't really have many games on telly, and then I think it got to got to a certain stage, and we've been we've been on a lot. And I mean, I think I think. Uh, the fans really enjoy not just our fans but other fans enjoy watching our games because they're always entertaining they know that we always work and there's always goals so um, yeah um, we're enjoying it we're enjoying the, the the extra cameras about and yeah it's good fun and just a word as well about the fans they're going to be the largest ever following crowd at the Etihad since 15 years ago, I believe, which is going to be a record. Okay. It's great to be behind you. Yeah, I mean, I didn't, I didn't know that, but that's 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 absolutely unbelievable. And to be fair, that's what they deserve. You know, they've they've been behind us. Uh, obviously, I've been here around four years, and they've been absolutely brilliant. And uh, they're really enjoying the season. And that's what it's all about. And hopefully, uh, they'll enjoy enjoy the night on Tuesday. No worries. Corey, a few years ago, you were playing not far away from Man City's ground, but. <laughs> A long way away. How do you reflect on the last few years and, and, and how far you've come to be, you know, at the Etihad on Tuesday? Um, yeah, no, it was, uh, yeah, I was literally around the corner to be fair. I used to drive past it quite a lot. Um, never, never actually played there. Um, went to watch a game now. Uh, I think it was a Champions League game against against Bayern Munich. Um, but yeah, it's just uh, it's just unbelievable. And um, just since I've come to come to this club. Um, just enjoyed every moment, and the club's just every year grown and grown. We got our promotion and uh, took steady steps, and and now we're we're really trying to trying to push on and become a big club in the in this league. And you never know what can happen. So um, it's been a it's been a great three years for for the club and for myself personally. And your self belief by playing against these top teams and Man United last time out and now in amongst some other world class players. What what does that do? you and your belief in what you're capable of yeah I think I think for the for the whole squad it's been brilliant because I think in the cup games uh, a lot of the young players have played in the early stages against Watford and and uh, everyone's kind of been involved and scored and you know we had young players score we've had young Freddie and we've had uh, players all, all around the squad uh, contributing you know so it's been a it's been a great a great uh, thing for for the whole squad as a whole and uh, yeah, for my personal self belief, I mean, it, it's scoring the winner against Man U. I mean, I don't, I don't think you can get much more confidence after that, you know. So, um, yes, yeah, it's, it was, it was a, it's a, it's a great thing for, for myself and the club right now. And when we think about today's game, and, and lots of people follow football, lots of people like play FIFA, and probably lots of people probably choose Man City and all their players. You think in 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 not too distant future. A few more people won't be playing, picking Bristol City as their son. Yeah, I mean, like I said, at the moment we've been on, on the telly a lot, and uh, I think it's really, it's really uh, built the built the club uh, around the world. I mean, uh, I think not just me, but a lot of the players will have had messages from from all sorts of all sorts of fans from all over the world, and it's really it's really built um, building, sorry, um, the club and players individually. So. Um, yeah, hopefully uh, a lot more people will be choosing me on FIFA. <laughs> oh. Corey, looking back to that time at Oldham under Lee when he made you his captain and now to come into a night as big as this, how big a figure has he been in your life and your career? Yeah, no, um, obviously he's been a big big part of my, my career so far. Um, obviously brought me to, to Oldham when he was, when he was, uh, when he was there and... Um, uh, put his belief in me, made me captain straight away as, as soon as I signed, and um, uh, that's that's a that's a big big thing to do, you know. So um, uh, he, I, and then obviously he recommended me kind of when I came here, 
and um, a year later he, he became the manager here. So uh, yes, yeah, it's, it's been a he's been a big part of my my career, and uh, I, uh, we seem to work really well together. And I appreciate all the all the work that he does for me. Scoring that goal against Man United, did that feel like a little bit pain back? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's just pay back, but I'm sure it is good for him as well, you know. <laughs> so uh, yeah, nah, it's it's it, we seem to work well together, you know. Um, we've got a really good relationship, you know, and uh, yeah, hopefully you can carry on. Hi, what's it been like for you since you you know became the hero really of that game? There's Twitter's been incredible. I saw one tweet particularly that I liked on Christmas Day. Someone tweeted, Merry Christmas, but particularly to Corey Smith. <laughs> that sort of reaction, what's that been like? Um, I don't actually have Twitter to be fair, so I, I, I miss that one. But I mean, yeah, it's been unbelievable how people had like me on the top of their Christmas tree and stuff like that, yeah. which is so funny. And uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, I just think it was a it was a great moment for the for the city as a whole. You know, um, uh, it, it really brought everyone together. It brought families together. It brought the club together. It brought everyone together. Everyone uh, will always remember that moment. I think. Uh, in the future, and it, it, yeah, it was just it was a special special moment. So um, obviously, I appreciate all the all the messages and and the love that I got after it. And uh, um, yeah, hopefully, someone someone can be be the hero against Man City. Do you think that puts extra pressure on on you this time round? Do you feel that at all? No, I mean, uh, not. I don't think people really expect me to score all the goals. I, was, I don't score that often, so it was it was quite a shock that I was kind of in that position in the 92nd minute. I think um, anyway. So, but um, yeah, it's, it, there's no there's no pressure on us. I don't think against against Man City, we've we've proved uh, we're a brilliant team, beating four Premiership teams already, and um, this game's another another bonus for us. Really, uh, we've got a, a big league league a big five six months in the league to think about as well um, and this is this is a bonus and if we can get to the final it would just be unbelievable Hi Corey mate um, sorry a couple more questions about the Man United winning goal but um, how do you look back on that now and uh, it was a fantastic pass from Matty Taylor wasn't it <laughs> yeah to be fair um, uh, he came on and was showing real energy and uh, to lift his head there in the 92nd minute and, and pick me out as a uh, was was brilliant. Uh, so I thanked him for that. And uh, yeah, no, it's it's just a I don't know. It was a bit of a blur at the time, and um, I'm just trying to kind of obviously not forget it, but I need to kind of focus and make sure we're concentrating now. And we've got a big game uh, in the FA Cup tomorrow, and uh, and then obviously the semi final on Tuesday. So uh, it will always remain in the memory. But I'm uh, trying to stay focused and look forward now. Yeah, sure. I was going to say, do you remember much of the celebrations? And did you manage to make it off the pitch? Okay, because obviously, the <laughs> chance came on. Yeah, um, I just remember it kind of falling. No one was really around me. Uh, when when it went in, I just started sprinting to the corner a bit aggressively. <laughs> I think Pat always tried to hold on to me, and uh, and then I saw everyone going crazy, and just uh, I was underneath the bundle. But then it was really weird because because so many people was on top of me. I couldn't hear anything, and it was. I just remember me and Bobby Reed at the bottom, and it was just silent. And I was like, we was like, I can't believe it, Bob. Like we were just talking, like it was. It was silent under there, like couldn't hear anything. And then all of a sudden, like, I couldn't really breathe. I was like, Bob, I need these people off me. I can't breathe. Like I was thinking I could pass out. If everyone gets off me, but um, yeah, it was. It was. It was amazing. Then uh, obviously we had 30 seconds left. Um, just for let's try and make sure we don't concede. The whistle went and. Um, yeah, and then after that, obviously, it was a magical moment. All the fans running on the pitch, and and um, yeah, one will remember forever. So, um, one of Bristol City's most amazing results, probably. And um, I just wondered how you spent the next day. Did you do anything special, like watch over the match uh, eight hundred times or anything like that? <laughs> to be fair, that night I couldn't. I didn't really sleep much. You know, I couldn't really sleep. I was. Uh, I was up most of the night. I've got a, a newborn baby, so it wasn't. <laughs> my missus was buzzing. She went to bed. I was just feeding, feeding him. So, um, yeah. To be fair, I'd, everyone was messaging me saying, "Oh, enjoy your night. Like, go and have a drink. Like, uh, fans and stuff." And uh, but we had a game in the next few days, so it was straight to. It was straight in the next day, getting massages and preparing for the next game. So, um, yeah, there was no, there was no big celebrations and stuff. But um, obviously. I uh, enjoyed it a lot. Nice one, no worries.
Hi, Charlotte. Hi. Hi, OK. I was just wondering, Lee was just saying a minute ago that he'd been recommended some meditation to help sort of prepare for the match, and I don't think he's going to be taking it on. But I wondered what your sort of routine would be on Tuesday. Have you got anything that you do before a big Um, I think just... We'll not really change what we've been doing, you know. We've, I don't think we, need, we should uh, try something different. Uh, as we've, like I said, had a great run so far and beaten, beaten top teams. So I mean, we just got. To, I think we went into the last game and kind of we our mentality was just to relax and and just think this this game we haven't got any pressure on us. You know, we're expected to lose as we were probably expected to lose against Man City. Uh, so just go and enjoy it and just relax and uh, work as hard as you can and I think that'll be that'll be the same kind of thought process going into this game. Okay. <coughs> Let's go to Watford. <laughs>